okay let's add a banana to our bowl of fruit um, I'm going to cheat actually I'm going to draw around it why not just to get a rough idea There you are, it gives you your curve. So, you know, don't make life more complicated than it is. Now, remember bananas, they're not round all the way. They're made up of flat um, sections where the skin is, where it, it forms and peels, okay? And if you were to slice it in half, you would probably have, in this case, something like that. I don't know, roughly, anyway. Okay, so there's your banana. That's the shape we're going to work to. If I just pop that there, let me come down a bit further so you can hopefully see both without it getting in my way. So, how am I going to tackle this then? Well, I'm going to start off by taking some yellow. In fact, I'm going to use a Naples yellow. Don't worry if you haven't got it, use what you have got. And I'm going to paint the whole thing. So let's get some water on here and whack some colour in. And we will have the pencil mark remaining on this because I want you to see what I'm doing fairly clearly. Just got a hair there. Come here. Yeah. Right. There we go. So that is the basic oh smudged. The basic shape of our banana. Now there's still a little bit of green in this, which is rather nice. I don't like my bananas too ripe, I don't know about you. So the green, for that, I'm just going to pick up some green. Or shall I mix it on the paper? Let's have a look at mixing on the paper. Less blue. No, not quite right, is it? That's because I've used Naples Yellow, which has a certain amount of a white pastelness to it. So that's why you've ended up with that murky colour. So I'm going to take some... Um, I think that's uh, Anglaise, green Anglaise. Oops. And I'm just going to put where I see bits of green. And I'm also going to start to incline, it, it intimate, as it were, that panel. Let's do it with a bit of the green. That's a bit bright, but it'll soften out. Let's just take it up. Rinse brush off, dab it off. And just soften it out a bit. Okay, now what are we going to use to shade the, the shady bits? Is it a grey colour? Is it a brownie colour? Obviously we've got these brown markings. Let's get some of those in now because it will give me a sense of achievement if I start to see something is, is sort of coming together. Now again, give the idea of this shape. Now see how that is running in, which is rather nice actually because this is what we want to an extent. It's a little bit peeled off there and there's a a bit down there that's quite brown and there's a bit on there and in fact I think what we will do is we will use this as the um, the shading colour but obviously very very pale. So I'm just going to, I just dab that off, add a bit of water, that's it. And then while this is still wet, very wet, 
I'm just going around that edge a little bit and I'm going to go down here a little bit. Rinse my brush off, dry it off and suck some of that out. And again, suck some of that out. But can you see how we are starting to get this shape? And in fact, there's also another line there. So what we'll do, we'll push this curve up a bit higher. Because we want another one in there. Actually, I think that colour's rather good. Oh, I say it myself. Okay, now we've got little smudgy bits of the brown. So let's just put smudgy bits. We've also got some dots. I'm just going to adjust this colour slightly and I'm going to adjust it slightly with just a little bit of an orangey colour just to give a bit of variety. And go back again with a bit more shading there. Took too much off. That was in my paint box. I think it's probably a mix, a little bit of a mixture of some Payne's Grey and Raw Umber. Um, I'm not going to give you a colour palette for this. Use what you've got, see what you've got and work with it. Just accentuate that, that panel. It's sort of like a panel, isn't it? See how I'm using my brush to keep a steady, even amount of paint on the, on the um, object, the banana, what I'm trying to say. Right, come back to some more brown marks. Right, I'm, I'm happy with that colour now. I think, you know, we could fiddle with it a bit more, but let's just get this going and it'll give you a, an idea. Right, now we want this line in here, which sort of starts slightly. Ignore the pencil marks, we're just leaving them there for... You need to see what you're doing. Um, that comes around there, that's it, I've got the odd dots here. And there, come back to the other little panel. And we want more on here. bit of something there, a bit more shape there, but we'll soften that out, rinse the brush, dab it off, just let it soften out a bit. Coming back to the um, brown, raw umber with some, whoops, too much paint's grey. This is really very dark. Let's give the shape, let's give it a good shape. Actually, we can lose a little bit of that pencil mark by taking that over. And again here, this is really, really dark. And get the, the round end of it in. Right, and then we can put some more spots on. Interesting how the the bruised bits, if we call them bruised, are on the edges. But I suppose that's because those edges stick up and they uh, catch on things. I'll just use the tip of the brush and just get some spots in. 
got some interesting um, blooms going in there, some watermarks, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm going to just come back to the underneath of the umbrella. Of the umbrella? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where umbrella came from. Oh dear, having a having a moment. And that's in shadow, so let's I'm going to try and obliterate the pencil mark a little bit. Underneath the umbrella, dear oh dear. There we go. And a bit of marking here. And let's just have a bit more, a bit more colour. And I suppose we ought to put a shadow of some sort underneath. And remember that the shadow that's raised up a bit, so... And we'll have the shadow curve a little bit like that. Bleeding going on there, but never mind. So there you go, there is a proposal of how to approach painting a banana and of course depending how it is placed on your plate bowl whatever um, you can have different angles but I hope it's helped you a lot with the colouring and the shape and getting the shading in on this banana. Uh, the only thing to do with that now is peel it and eat it. So enjoy painting your banana and please share your results with me.